Today we are going to look at a humble lamb Bible in the King James Version. And these Bibles are incredibly unique uh, in their features, in their style. You know, in the world of premium Bibles, they're, they're pretty much similar, though they have different uh, features. And R.L. Allen uh, are really classic. Cambridge are classic. And uh, Schuyler does uh, more unique things with their printing and with their paper and with their binding, with the Jerusalem crosses that they put on the front. Um, but their uniqueness uh, kind of stops there. You know, their spine embossing, their raised hubs are all um, quite standard, though done really, really well. And the reason that I have these three covers here is because the humble lamb has a feature uh, that those of you who love how the R.L. Allen Bibles lay very flat, uh, you're also going to love a humble lamb Bible. So here's an R.L. Allen Bible. And if you see, it lays completely flat with no resistance. You can see even the cover of the spine will uh, concave. It will cave in, giving us a completely pancakey fold in half binding. And I don't have a Skyler to show, um, but it's similar to the Cambridge, where the Cambridge, uh, it doesn't want to cave in, nor would I try to make it cave in. Uh, it's going to just stay just like that. But this Bible is going to last longer um, than a R.L. Allen, just because it's not going to put um, resistance on the spine uh, because of the strength of the spine. And the reason for that is uh, let's look through these. Here's a here's a Skyler cover, and you can see their spine material. They have a they have a stiff spine material, and uh, it doesn't it doesn't want to flex, right? I'm I'm squeezing it right now, and it does not want to flex. This spine uh, will not concave like an Allen will, and also with the Cambridge, uh, it's the same thing. They have this hard spine material and uh, it's more flexible than a Skyler uh, but it's certainly not going to concave like an R.L. Allen because R.L. Allen does not put a thick spine material on their spines they only do the Oxford hollow and so that's why R.L. Allen's lay so flat and um, you know a rebinder like myself I can replicate it I, I got to do some sort of material on the spine because um, it shows me where the center is and that's it. It would take me a little bit more work to be able to do exactly what R.L. Allen does on their spine, uh, but it's very possible to create a lay flat uh, binding. And another reason for the lay flat is if it's sewn and it's got to be sewn right and reinforced right to where even the bible itself wants to concave upwards and so there's very little resistance on this spine so what's awesome about this bible and um, this is the paste down version and so i'm not sure if their leather lined edition has the same thing um, but this bible is just so unique i mean this color and i'm a simple man i like black Bibles with black ribbons. I like no, no gilt lines, no single gilt lines like this one has, right? That perimeter decorative line, right? I like a very simple Bible, but this yellow, man, just won me over. Just the big bird of humble lamb, just a really cool uh, color. And, and, and the color on the camera is kind of rendering a yellow uh, but in person, it's it's more of like a mustard, and it just looks really, really cool. Uh, but their spines, and it's a small feature, uh, but it, it's the reason why sometimes you love a Bible compared to another. They don't do a super sturdy spine on their Bibles, and this Bible is completely brand new, but this Bible will lay completely flat. And it's a big Bible, and I could tell it's reinforced well on the spine. Uh, but man, you even come all the way over here, and it's just laying flat. And I know for a fact that with use, 
this Bible, I'm probably going to be able to uh, fold in half and, and preach from like this, though I'm not trying to do it. I just got it. Uh, but man, humble lamb. Let's look at this Bible. Humble lamb is creating such cool editions of the Bible. I love that it says the word of God. Um, it is the Holy Bible. But man, whenever you put on a Bible, the word of God, it sets it apart. It lets people know this isn't just another holy book or what people would consider to be a holy book. This is the words of God right here. And man, this, this is just awesome. And their liners um, are very, very flexible. I mean, this is very, uh, I like this. I thought when I first grabbed it that it was a leather lined Bible already. So their pace downs are just awesome. They do really good work here. And uh, we could jump in here, the Word of God, authorized King James Version. And, um, and what made me want to get this Bible, what drew me to this, was, was number one, what a clean text layout. Uh, as a preacher of the Word, there's some little, de there's details that I just look for in a Bible now. And um, I've always loved this Alan Brevere blackface, but the text uh, was just kind of chaotic for me to uh, follow when I'm holding it in my hand and preaching far away. So this Cambridge Concord has kind of won me over because of how clean the text is. But the humble lamb, uh, there's a lot of publishers creating uh, really clean texts, uh, but humble lamb has created such a clean looking text. I love that the center column references are down here um, on the bottom, the references. And also what I like in my King James Bible is to have um, words that are hard to understand uh, written on the bottom or like referenced, right? So when I'm reading and if there's a hard word to understand and, and going through this Bible, they really spent time going through those words that are... Uh, difficult to understand that have different meaning and it and it causes this King James Bible to became to become almost like a new King James to where you're able to read and preach from the King James Bible because but because you could quickly reference the the word uh, the different translations of the word into a more modern saying or what it truly means uh, to us today it it makes a King James Bible just wonderful to use and and man they have such unique I mean nobody nobody is doing this nobody is doing artwork on gilding that is just so cool right there I mean to have a big old line on the side the line of Judah man that is cool and to have um, these pictures throughout the Bible it's just man it's just such a cool beautiful bible to use and it's practical where it's verse by verse the text is incredibly clean with the references and the different translations of words on the bottom that could be quickly referenced and and another uh thing i really like and i only know of a nelson uh king james bible with the apocrypha that used a blue letter text um, I don't know of too many blue letter text Bibles, but I don't like red letter. It's so loud. It's so pronounced. Um, I could show you here on this Cambridge Bible, you know, the red letter, uh, it just sticks out like a sore thumb. And that could be what you like, or it could be what you don't like. I don't know. Uh, that's up to you, but it sticks out incredibly where if you're not a red letter fan, but I know even if you do not like red letter, I know that you sometimes wish that you could, you had red letter in the gospels because you wanna quickly turn to a gospel and find where Jesus said this and cause you're preaching from it. So to have blue letter text is like right there in the middle. It's not so bright and distracting 
yet it lets me know and separates the words of Jesus and it's subtle and it's clean and I don't mind I mean this page right here is solid blue text but yet I don't mind it it looks really really good I mean humble lamb uh, I'm gonna have to check out their other editions because uh, in my journey the past 10 years of, of having almost every premium Bible I'm, I'm becoming more practical very practical in my usage. I want to just enjoy the Bible, read the Bible, spend time with it, preach from it, travel with it, enjoy it. You know, I have a, a idea in my head to where I want a Bible that if I have no internet and if I'm in the middle of nowhere, I want my Bible to be a resource for me where I'm not relying upon the internet to translate, to read different translations, to study with. Uh, I want a Bible to be, that's all I need if I'm in the middle of nowhere. And um, because of their reference suite, because of their translations, a humble lamb Bible could be the, it could be the Bible that you use. And they do have um, a very good extensive uh, concordance here in the back, uh, which is very helpful. I mean, it's extensive. They, they, they took the time. And uh, I use my concordance. I will go to my concordance and hunt down. And if I can't find the exact word, I'll try to find a similar word. I will, I will use my concordance before I take the, the scapegoat and go in and grab my cell phone because I want to just use my Bible and not grab my cell phone for the hundredth time today. Um, just awesome. And another um, thing I'd like to take note of that they do with their Bibles also is they start they start their books always on a new page uh, here's probably a bad example um, that was a good one if I could get to it we're in Corinthians so there's always they don't they don't continue or fill the text uh, no matter what uh, here's a great example and so uh, though this isn't a wide margin uh, but there's certainly plenty of space to write uh, but I always love when books start on a new page because even if the end of the epistle or the letter doesn't have space like this i could still use this space for a different book and just reference it i could say notes right notes at the end of romans you know and i could say here's my ephesians you know studies and i could just continue that on uh, right throughout the whole Bible wherever I find at the end of the book there is space available that'll be my my note-taking areas and so man they did they did an incredible job and uh, man I plan to review more of them if I can so man uh, if you haven't already check out a humble lamb Bible their goat skins are beautiful their black stamping is just unique they're mustard with black with a a line on the side with their blue letter text. I mean, this thing is just, I haven't been impressed by a Bible in a long time. In a long time, I have not been impressed uh, by an Allen, by a Schuyler. Uh, just, just me personally. I'm not saying they're not great Bibles, just, just me personally. And, uh, but this has impressed me. And I know that if you pick one up from Humble Lamb, uh, you will enjoy it yourself. So, man, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you uh, decide whether or not a humble lamb is for you. And so thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.